What up, everybody? This is Jeff. Um, we are doing a writing tip. One of our viewers on Twitch uh, asked us, writing in a second-person POV, how would you tackle it since it's not so commonly used? Yes, uh, second-person and other periphery point of views are very tricky. Um, one of the downsides of second-person is it foists the choices on the reader. So if a second-person point of view character makes a choice that the reader wouldn't, it will because you're, you're making it them you know eventually you know if you are writing a longer second person view it becomes a first person it's very very similar to first person it's a single viewpoint uh close you know reported by that person um you can use some third person elements like you know the narrator could have a different voice and kind of make fun of the second person decisions and that happens in more comedic second persons but yeah um, one of the really good literary examples is David Foster Wallace's second person story uh, about the kid on the diving board, if I can remember it. It's in my Discord, uh, so if you do the Final Boss Discord, um, it's there. It's a really, really great example. And so the, one of the things to get good at is reading in the point of view that you're, excuse me, going to use. I would also encourage writers who are interested in psycho per second person to check out some other periphery point of views. One point of view that's really underused is a plural point of view. Like, you know, we went to the market, we fought the war, you know, whatever. Um, that's a really powerful point of view as well. But usually when those periphery point of views, um, they're best in in short doses and small doses, you know, like short stories, short fiction usually is where those work really well because it, it takes a little bit of extra work for the reader who has not been trained to read second person to uh, to use it right because one of the reasons first and third person are so prevalent is because that's just what we've been trained to read we're used to visualizing in that context so starting with short fiction is usually a great place to get into those point of views um, some of the principles though i think is to remember to develop in a second person Develop the narrator. Know that, that there is going to be a storyteller character just as much as there is going to be that second person character who the story is about. More than in first person even because first person they're both pretty much the same person. So that's some food for thought. Uh, and then also reading a lot. Like, you know, really study that genre before you get into it. Uh, and starting short. Making sure that, hey, if you're going to use a periphery point of view, a second person, a close, you know, a, a plural first person a plural you know third person like they went to the market they went this very very powerful I actually use some of that stuff here um but there is some cost and finally the most important thing is make sure it's tied into your stream right or your stream sorry tied into your theme um make sure it agrees with your story because honestly one of the things that it's sort of like why make your story harder unless you have a really good reason to do it if you are going to use a periphery point of view i.e not third or, or, or first person make sure that you have a gosh darn good reason to do it um the second person that david foster wallace used is you know really trying the reason he's doing that in his diving board story is he wants you to feel that pressure much more like because it's very intense second person it's very in your face so he wants to make sure that he's using second person so you feel this pressure this heaviness of being a adolescent going into uh, like your teenage years and so that is one of the important things about second person i think um overall uh it gives you a way more intense experience so Make sure you're going to use it. Make sure that an intense emotional response is, is central to your theme. Stuff like that. Same with plural point of view. Plural point of view is very, very similar where it creates a hive mind type feeling. One of the really great examples is the story A Year of Silence. Um, and that's also in my Discord, so you should uh, join the Discord and check it out there. Uh, I'll, I'll put, type that in here and it'll show up. Um, but honestly... Um, the Year of Silence uses that to, to give this sense of a momentous change. So a lot of the choice of a second person or a non-traditional point of view will depend on your subject matter 
and your theme, just like any choice in point of view. But make sure you're thinking about it. I think even when I read first and third person stuff when I do edits, I sometimes say, well, this shouldn't be first person or this shouldn't be third person, potentially, um, because the subject matter doesn't fit the point of view. Um, so remember, that's critical. Um, in every point of view, and especially when you're choosing a periphery point of view, something like this. So good luck. I love second person. I love plural point of view. So please uh, do these things more. Come up with concepts and themes that fit these point of views and make sure that, hey, you're executing it in a way that's not tiresome. If you're doing it in a long, if you're doing a longer novel with some second person, one approach is to mix normal traditional point of view with second person. That's something you see a lot of more literary novels doing now. So kind of balancing it because it's an intense experience for the reader. It's exhausting uh, sometimes to read a second person. So making sure you give them small doses or or if you are doing like, hey, a whole novel in second person, some people have done that, uh, it'll eventually blend and be pretty much synonymous with third person. Uh, and then in that case, you'll want to make sure to kind of like um, make sure that you really have a good reason for doing it and it can pay off. Just make sure sort of like, you know, you're, if you're bringing something into your writing that's going to make it harder, make sure you have a reason for it. Uh, anyways, good luck. I hope to see more second person and all those fun things. Talk to you soon.